This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and thanks for tuning in. Let's get right to some sky cams this morning. There's a look at uh, Mount Chiha. They're definitely in the clouds or the fog or both. And how about a look at Gadsden? Uh, it looks like uh, the, the ceiling height is up there where the lights are reflecting off of the clouds. And we do see a little bit of uh, uh, light in the eastern horizon as we look down at Opelika, looking out over the lights of that city as well. It is certainly a mess across the eastern seaboard and the mid-Atlantic states of the United States where a major winter storm has been dumping snow on them for uh, at least a good 12 to 18 hours since uh, yesterday afternoon. On our surface map, there's the surface low that's creating the mess uh, uh, just off the uh, Virginia and North Carolina coastline. And uh, it is uh, certainly creating a lot of snow and, and uh, travel issues for up that way. And in the upper atmosphere, we have uh, a very strong closed low over uh, the eastern half of the country. And that trough is inching by us. But unfortunately, it looks like we're going to stay uh, probably mostly cloudy, uh, at least uh, probably no sun until Sunday. And today's going to be a rather raw day with a steady northwest wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour. And so wind advisories in effect for area lakes. And take a look at uh, temperatures. Uh, I'd say probably about 50-50 on uh, above or below 32 uh, this morning. And uh, a little bit closer to home, you can see that the wind to our northwest is gusting uh, to around 18 to 21, some of those values that I see in there. Temperatures uh, already uh, in the lower 40s here, and I don't think we're going to see much change today. So with the cloud cover and drizzle this morning, perhaps even a little few spits of precipitation this afternoon, I think we're going to see a rather raw day with, uh, with that wind. So this is a good day to curl up by the fire with a good book. Here's a look at the radar in the uh, across the mid-Atlantic states, since we don't have any radar issues down here or radar echoes to be watching. There's a look at the uh, radar up that way, and they're certainly getting pummeled by a good deal of snow. Precipitation-wise, uh, look for another uh, one-half to one inch with the next system coming primarily on Tuesday, perhaps late Monday, but I think primarily on uh, Tuesday. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk just along the uh, North Carolina coastline uh, and uh, across the extreme southeastern Florida uh, the tip of the peninsula down there from uh, Key West up to about, uh, oh, uh, a little hard to say exactly, just a little north of West Palm Beach. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run. And there's the surface low as it moves out today at noon, uh, moves out into the Atlantic with a little wraparound precipitation. And of course, we're getting a little bit of uh, some wraparound precipitation, but that primarily in the form of drizzle. Uh, the uh, upper low heads out to sea. And for the time being, on Sunday, the 7th, we're uh, under a weak ridge. But notice we have two uh, uh, upper systems to be concerned with, one over uh, south-central Canada and another over uh, just to the west of the Four Corners area. And those are going to be phasing and giving us a storm system on around Tuesday. We stay cool on Sunday, but uh, we should see some sun. And then by Monday, those two systems are beginning to uh, get within close proximity as the closed low dives into the United States from Canada and that short wave comes in off the west coast uh, into about the Texas uh, panhandle. That will help to generate a weak surface low uh, over Texas. And uh, so the precipitation, I think, will stay to our west on Monday. Uh, but by Tuesday, uh, the two systems are pretty much uh, phased up, and we actually have a uh, negatively tilted uh, trough, and that should bring another raw day. So we got a raw day today on Saturday and another raw day on Tuesday. I think, as you can see, the 540 line diving down by the afternoon. I think that we're going to uh, see uh, temperatures probably uh, change very little out of the 40s on uh, Tuesday, kind of like today, just a, a bit. Wednesday, though, we dry out, but we uh, get pretty chilly with uh, uh, morning low going to be down probably in the uh, upper 20s or so. By Thursday, we're under a ridge, but here comes another strong short wave uh, out of the 
uh, West Extreme West Texas, uh, the El, El Paso area, and that will be generating another surface low. And this one we're going to have to be very careful about. Uh, still some differences in uh, between the European and uh, and the uh, GFS. But by Friday, while that short wave is a little bit weaker, it is uh, certainly uh, potentially going to produce a surface low in the Gulf. Notice the 540 line is uh, right along the Alabama-Tennessee line. So uh, with this kind of configuration, there's no way not to uh, forecast this far in advance, at least uh, some sort of rain-snow mixture at this point. And let's take a look a little closer. Here's the 540, um, pardon me, here is the 850 millibar chart. And uh, notice that the zero degree isotherm at 850 is all the way down uh, in the vicinity of Clanton. So this portends the potential for some uh, trouble in terms of uh, ice or snow across central Alabama. Now, at this point, I don't think we can forecast anything more specific than a, a rain or snow mixture at this point. Uh, but uh, it certainly is going to need to be watched as the whole system evolves and as, uh, as we see it uh, change on the models. By Saturday, we should dry out in terms of the precipitation ending and we stay somewhat chilly. And then by Sunday, uh, we're still chilly, but it uh, looks like we're going to stay dry. All right, now in the longer range, things are certainly exciting. Look at the, the closed low over Chicago. Holy mackerel, that means cold weather for the eastern half of the country once again. That thing opens up finally around the 19th, but that certainly looks cold. Look at those lines coming from central Alabama all the way up into western Canada. So that looks very, very cold. And uh, while uh, the 21st looks a little, a little more benign, uh, it certainly looks like it's going to stay somewhat chilly. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Expect to have the next one posted around uh, 8 o'clock or by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.